Successful bowler with the ball. Okay, let's pick up the action with the commentators. Here we go, first ball of the final. Easing away in the leg side, so he's away, and so are Lahore. There's a roar for Lahore. And yes, an easy start, an easy delivery, and Fakhar Zaman just nudged it away for, for one. Good connection, four runs. Always difficult with a spinner inside the power play. Five for none. That's whipped away for another boundary. Again, it's leg side, so four more runs. Seven off that, 12 for none. There is a man lurking, and he takes the catch. Dahani has taken the catch. That is absolutely massive. That is a huge wicket. Fakhar Zaman is going to be on his way. That's extraordinary. What a judgment. He had enough time. It took his time, waited on the ball. He was really close to that skirting and grabbed it beautifully that's a massive wicket big big wicket here look at that wow balance great balance 12 for one i should say and it's fucker zaman gone oh that's a bit of a gift first up he's put that away easily for four that's a nice way to start yeah very very good start for zishan ashraf A ah, bit of swing there now, a bit of swing there now, and he's got him! It was wide, it was full, and Zishan was looking to thrash it through cover. Just a little nick. Serious movement through the air, a little bit slower, and it went. Zishan Ashraf out for seven, it's 23 for two. In the air, on down. Straight in and straight out. That should have been taken. Will he be upset about that? As mad it was. Down the track and stumped. Stumped by about a metre and a half. Just a little bit of turn, but it was more the flight that did it. That is not a very good cricket. Just a little spin, a little bit more bounce. And Rizwan did the rest. That's great bowling. Bowling his third over, Afridi. On his way for 14. This is big, big trouble now. 25 for three. Bit of a room and race. He's into the thick of things, but he's given a little bit of width here to the professor, who's got hold of this one. This will run away again. Soft hands from the professor. And then again, you just can't bowl here with that line. No, oh, you can't do that. Is it Dahani? The hero with those Jubilee safe hands that got rid of fuckers a man. There we go. A fees, if you please. It's not really his game. Brings up the 50 in style, though, does the old boy. A bit more go loot low. Well, it was as much placement as power. Because what he did, and I will give him full credit for meaning to do it too, is get it absolutely straight. Got men out in the deep, long on, long off. Well, fees, he's trying. He's trying, and he has found a gap. It's a very, very good over here for Lahore. 13 from it, and is now 61 for three. Down the track, hit that high. Two fieldsmen circling, is one calling. What sensational tag team work. That is remarkable. Sean Masood was the first. He did all the hard work. He was a bit concerned he was going to be running over with it. He tapped it back and the catch was taken. Okay, first contact within the boundary. And no contact. Uh, 
passes the ball to another fielder who takes a fair catch. I'm ready for my decision on the big screen. Sliced away, that's going to help their cause. There's a boundary, that's what they needed. First boundary and 24 deliveries. Push the shards and staggering outside off stump. Bit of flight that time. Tahir certainly hasn't been afraid of tossing the ball up a little bit today. His numbers are really tidy, he started his last over. A piece of 50, his first 50 in the HBL PSL 7, and what a time to get it. And there's another boundary. Oh, that's gone. That's gone almost too far. Well, it should be a lot more worse than that. That sounded absolutely sweet of the bat. Short in length. Rides bounced really well, making well use of his height and gives it an absolute crack. Oh, that's gone straight and far again. This is supreme batting. It's the 50 partnership, it's 133 for four. Oh, he's gone this time. Clever the ball before, tries to get it through the offside this time. But this time is cue the celebrations for Shanawaz Dahani. So, I mean, he loses, what, about 150 calories every time he picks up a wicket. That's why he's so fit. The bat just twisting just a little bit in his hand. It was a J-dot fast delivery as well, over 140 clicks. That's great stuff. They're loving it. Hafiz is gone. Brilliant 69 from 46. But more trouble for Columbus. 137 for 5. Well, that's the first ball disappearing straight down the ground for six more. Oh, that's a beauty. That really is well struck. And the base is strong when he's hitting or drilling the ball down the ground. The lorries are happy. It's basically a nothing ball, really. Trying to vary the pace, but got the length, really, to muscle it. Osaka Betri's par hit. Oh, that's long straight. That's going to go for six as well. This is carnage of the right sort for Kalandas, of the wrong sort for Sultans. And both Wiesa and Brooke have done this really well. Hang back deep in the crease and pick up length very quickly. And the best place to hit them is straight, and they've hit them a very long mile behind. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. That is gone. Several rows back. It gets it go. Has that got the legs? Oh yes, that's got the legs. You see, wanted a Yorker, obviously. Wanted a perfect ball, and I don't know whether that little chap. That's gone from the top edge, one bounce four. That's the danger, you try and change the length, you try and stop the big shot down the ground. Six. Six. Up it goes, it's over extra cover, not quite out of the middle of the bat this time. Dragged down inside the boundary oaks. Well, what a spectacular last five overs that has been. 77 runs in those last five. 180 for five. Now that's a target. I'm sure the Colanders will be very happy with At one stage, it looked like they might not get to the 160 mark. But then David Visa, 28 off eight for the second game in a row, actually, by the way. Magnificent hitting from him. Now the bowlers for the Multan Sultans, Tahir, four overs, none for 22, tight as per normal. But the star was Asif Afridi, three for 19 off his four overs. So the target is 181 to win the final. Let's join the chase with the commentators. A little bit leg side. 
shy at the bowler's end. Backed up nicely. <laughs> no overthrows. Two noises. Bat on the ground and also a neck and dropped. And there's four. It's nicely bowled and nicely played. Shy at the stumps. Might be an overthrow. In fact, it might be more than a overthrow. It might be a lot more. It is a lot more. What's Mohammed Rizwan doing here? Just making sure that... Uh, oh, no, it's Masoo. Just making sure that Dufridi's OK because it came off his hand. Five off. That's fine, and that's four more. That's good from Rizwan. Just using the pace. Being able to maneuver it past. And cracks that one. And that's gone for four. That's a very good shot. Not out of the middle, but he's going to bank a boundary. Back to back. A 3D is sticking, and they'll just. Ball him. That's a big wicket. Half is off now. There he goes. Catch him if you can. That is huge. Mohamed Rezwan is a wonderful, wonderful player, and he's now gone. This time, Mohamed is right on the target. Just getting on to it. Give him some air, but too close to sweep. Goes for 14. Multan, 36 for one. It is going to be some sight. Oh, he wants one, he wants one. Direct hit's gone, gone. That is gone. Hesitated in the middle. Started just a couple of steps to get back. In the meantime, Farka threw the stumps down. Gone. He wanted the single straight away to Shan Masood. He's gone. And once Fakhar Zaman has picked it up, he's just balanced himself so that he can aim and hit the stumps. And he knew if he hits the stumps, there's no chance for Shan Masood. Lahore is off. Kalandas are off. They've got the openers out. Shan Masood now out for 19, 41 for two. Uh-oh, 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 who wants it? God, oh, take him! Is it fuckers a man again? You can't keep him out of the game. He has taken some speckies in season seven here. So much crowd, so much pressure. Top edge, the ball was spinning up in the air. And he stayed in the air for long long time look at that catch wow that is outstanding Ahmed Azmat gone for six it's 46 for three now gone oh, nailed him time to celebrate here at Qaddafi well sending off for Asif Abhridi up the order didn't work for Multan Sultan Watch that delivery. Pished and just seemed to touch. Hit the off stump. What a beauty. Asa for free, they gone for one. 50 for four. Next side, squeezed away, boundary. Next side, has he nailed it? No, he hasn't. That is fantastic, Abdullah Shafiq. The catching from the Hulk and Yes, I'll have, a, I'll have a sign on, please. I just want to double check what happens. Decision out. Abdullah Shafiq, what a catch he's taken yet again. Leg side flicked away. Boundary. It's all action. Inside edge, rolls away, boundary after the timeout. That's solid. That's very solid. What a good shot that is. Fine work off the first ball, the over. Strike rate of 117 right now. Deep in the crease, lost his grip on that bat. 
And that's disappearing for a boundary. Again with pace. Is it out? It is out. My goodness, Safridi. The captain has struck with his first ball. That is unbelievable. And guess who again? Wow. First ball back to Tim David. Tim David says whenever he goes to bat, he wants to make sure his impact is a difference in a game. As he's seen the end of Tim David, he's gone for 27 off 17, 114 for six now. Deep in the crease, he's bowled, got it underneath. That is a magnificent delivery. Batting very deep in the crease, didn't matter. Disturb the furniture, top stuff. Yeah, he'll remember that delivery for some time now. Fantastic delivery, watch that. Right in the block hole, the perfect Yorker. Had no chance, David really Gone for zero, it's 120 for seven. Alf again. Bowling. Yeah. There it is. Off stump. Smashed. Another big wicket. This time it's the other one. It's a rocket man, Ralph. Well, if you're struggling to play in front, you bowl straight, and that's the reward you get. Hit the top of the off stump. Wow. So Kushtil going across early and changed his length. That's how smart he is. It seems to be all over for Multan Sultan. The big man has to take the walk. 32 of 23. Multan 122, 8 down. Bang on target. Middle stump. He's got another one. Unbelievable start from Afridi. There's that salute again. That's his third. Three for 30 has returned at this stage. He has been simply remarkable. Just putting the ball in the right area, and the right area is a block hole. Right there, watch this. Nice, beautiful. Right at the base of the middle stump. Roman Ray's gone for six. That's high. Who's underneath that one? Who's going to take this catch? There it is. That's all over. Here comes the squad. The celebrations begin in the middle. Unbelievable scenes here at the Gaddafi Stadium. They're all sprinting to their captain. He's being mobbed in the middle. So Hain Charafridi, this is one very happy bunch. It's the first time, of course, they've won the PSL. First time they've won the HBL PSL. They are absolutely ecstatic. Lahore Colanders win by 42 runs. Amazing scenes here and also in the crowd. A long way it comes to an end and doing it in front of their home crowd. That is amazing. And this is it. This is what it's all about. They've been together for some time now. They're a tight unit. They're batting. At one stage, looked like getting only the 160 mark at best. And then there was a brilliant partnership with David Visa and also Harry Brook to get him to 180. And then the bowlers just took over, led by this guy. So for the first time ever, the Calunders are now champions by winning Season 7's Grand Final. The Sultans could only muster 138, and the standouts really, the top two are the usual suspects, 19 and 14 for Masood and Rizwan, but really you have to scroll down the card there and look at Tim David 27 and Kushtal Shah 32 and not much else. And the bowling figures, simply superb from the skipper, Shaheen Shah Afridi, 3 for 30, Hafiz 2 for 23, Harris Ralph 1 for 34, and young Zaman Khan 2 for 26, and David Visa picked up the other 1 for 16 from 1.3. So, in summary of this final in Season 7, the Calunders getting a very substantial score of 180 for 5. Hafiz top scored with 69 from 46. And in reply, when you look at his bowling figures as well, Mohamed Hafiz, 2 for 23, was the player of this final with the Calunders winning by 42. So the player of the final in Season 7, the old boy, Mohamed Hafiz, 69 from 46, simply superb. And then in the bowling department, they did it so well and so did Mohamed Hafiz. Two for 23 from his four was without doubt the player of the final. 
So the winners of HBL PSL Season 7, for the first time ever, the Lahore Calunders.